in the space that we were You got to call it back in to ask the question. <laughs> you got to call the whole thing back in to ask the question. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> See it? Here it goes. Yeah. She's going to bring you with it. I am wondering about satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in the place where you were, yes, um, none of those are even relevant. Okay. We have nothing to do with anything. Were you satisfied or not satisfied? Totally satisfied. No, or we weren't. I wasn't even there, kind of. Wasn't even there. Hmm. Deep up. Yes, you're deep looking up. Yeah. So you might see the bottom of satisfaction. <laughs> and go, yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> I remember when that was relevant. <laughs> yeah. So I just want, back just a moment, I just want you to know that you now get to live knowing you're going to be here in March. Between now and then, you can live completely knowing that you're going to be here in March. So three days before March, you don't go, I'm not coming. You promise yourself you're coming, and thus you're already in. In other words, your course has already begun. And honest to goodness, it makes a difference. That's why we do it this way. Because, I mean, that it's, it's just settled. The whole rest of the world spins around that. It's part of the fun. Uh-oh. What's the word? Commitment. So then, anything that happens is on the way to that. That's what commitment does. It aligns everything. One of the biggest difficulties you have when you're believing something or focusing on something or directed on something is that the gun has two sights. And if so if you use one of them, we have no idea where the barrel is. In other words, you have to align two things. <laughs> because if you just focus on one, this could be <laughs> anywhere, and I'm still focused on one. You could shoot yourself. This is the power of shutting out and shutting down possibility. Very powerful thing to be able to do as a human being. Why? Because we're in the midst of a sea of possibilities. Something, dear? Okay. What else? Anything else? Yes, dear. Um, you got laid? <laughs> yeah, and it was good, too. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. What are you comparing it to when you say that? Uh, other times. <laughs> 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 All right, then. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Um, uh, Why would you miss any opportunity on the face of the earth not to be embarrassed? <laughs> How many of you are trying to avoid embarrassment? Uh -huh. <laughs> Never avoid embarrassment again. As a matter of fact, if you see it, cross the street, chasing it. <laughs> <laughs> Find it anywhere that you possibly can. What would happen if you lived uh, making certain that if you caught even the slightest whiff of embarrassment, you went after it? Probably not.
The old line that we got here? You're trying to avoid embarrassment? How's that working? <laughs> For you. Embarrassment for a human being is right down there close to existence. We are fundamentally embarrassed. You're a spirit in a body. Wouldn't embarrassment be appropriate? <laughs> Anybody in here have a butt? <laughs> Anybody in here speak? <laughs> Think? Any of you have earlobes? <laughs> I mean, really. Some of you aren't old enough to realize how many things start growing on you when you get older. <laughs> Trust me, it's embarrassing. <laughs> or stop growing. Yeah, yes. Your hair leaves your head and goes to your ears and your nose. I mean, this is <laughs> embarrassing, isn't it? Whoa! Hold on, I have to comb my ears before I go out. Yes, dear. Um, so I, I kind of had an experience of uh, being just a uh, process, mm -hmm. and so not being an object, and it's kind of a sense of losing something if you're not an object. There's just a sense of loss in a way. Yeah, it, it is losing something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Having a sense of yourself as an object is losing nothing. And having a sense of yourself um, not, not as an object is losing something. I, I <laughs> what Pat's now saying is, now, wait a second. I hadn't <laughs> expected that. I didn't. <laughs> 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 you wanted a how, how easy is that it to follow when you don't have the mic? Easy. Okay. So, yes, it's losing something. Some thing in particular you're losing. Yeah. Whatever you were holding... When you have an experience of yourself as process, you lose. Yeah. And like you do. And then, then there's a temptation to have the next object be the sensation of the loss of that other object. <laughs> that wants your attention. What determines that it's an object? This is a really trick. This is a really, really, really tricky question. <laughs> I don't expect you to have the answer, but I want you to search for it. I didn't know the answer until just now. What determines that it's an object? Very nice. Its effect on your attention. If it stops your attention, it's an object. If it doesn't stop your attention, it's not an object. There are specific steps to waking up. Actually, it's not true. There are specific steps to enlightenment that provide you with a vibration that doesn't ever stop at objects. That's why enlightenment is sort of cheating. Because then you can't be blocked. Because there's nothing that can stop it. 